Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you play a song called Keep Them Kisses Coming by Craig Campbell. And if you want to play along with the recording, actually, that the recording is kind of drop tuned, so you'd actually have to go to your tuners and loosen them up just a little bit to get the E flat, B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, and E flat. But we're just going to work this lesson in standard tuning. And it starts out with kind of our intro and our verse progression around a C major chord. We play C major. First finger goes to B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret third finger on the A string, third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. And while you're around C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, make that a C major 7, or you could add in the pinky on the B string, third for C major 9, and kind of say some things around C. Or another way to play C major 9 is to do first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, and working that C major 9. And then from the C, we're going to a G major chord. First finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. Oh, the beautiful sounds of G major. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third. Oh, that sounds really, really happy. Um, and slightly powerful. Um, and then from the G, we'll be going to an E minor. We play E minor. First finger goes to A second, second finger on the D second. Strum all those together, that sounds like E minor. Or you could add in the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of make that an E minor seven. And then from the E minor, we're going to a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger goes to the G second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, it sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now around D's in general though, you may want to think about lifting the second finger. Or the dangerous finger to lift, but it makes a D sus. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for the suspended chord and kind of say some things around the D major chords. And there's a couple different rhythm options actually. That you could even work kind of a down count on each of these chords. Kind of a C, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, E minor, D, C. And I'm kind of adding a little bit of right hand beauty to make that a little bit sneaky. Or another possibility would be doing it almost like a 3 plus 5 idea. Kind of a C for 3, G for 5 minor for three, and then D for five. So you have kind of C, two, three, G, one, two, three, four, five, E minor, two, three, D, one, two, three, four, five, C, G, E minor, D. Or, um, but you could use a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, Strum pattern. So you could do just a down, down up on each one, and kind of C, down up G, down up G minor, down up D, down up C, down up G, down up D minor, down up D, down up. Or if you kind of dig on this, you, you could kind of do a down, down on the C, and then hit the G for the up, up, down up, and then go to the E minor for the down, down, and then go to the D for the up, up, down. and our, our verses until we get to our chorus part and we end up kind of repeating that, that progression three times and then we do our whole strum pattern on the C chord and there's kind of a big hit on a D chord at the very very end of the chorus. So all the way through the chorus you have the C, G, E minor, D or you can mix it up between the ideas. Now one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the C you'd have the A for the bass. On the G you'd have low E for the bass. On the E minor you'd have the low E for the bass. And on the D you'd have the D for the bass. So we could kind of try that intro verse progression and kind of work as a bass down up on each chord. You have a C, down, up, G, down, up, E minor, down, up, D, down, up, C. Pattern 
idea, you could add basses to that. So let's do the bass, down G on the up, down the the bass, down the up. four times and then we kind of hit a big C chord and at the very very end you'll kind of hear a big G with kind of a down down and you may want to kind of kill the strings but that's the basics of how you get strum through keep them kisses coming by Craig Campbell so good luck <laughs> 